Right here, we're inside the lines with yours only and yours truly, Coach Rob D. Deck and my producer behind the screen shooting it with that Book the Griffin shirt on. Yeah, my man, my man JT over here. Number two. Pumping it up, pumping Number it up. <laughs> JT, we heading into a big week, city week, and um, so tell me how preparation as far as been going, as far as practice, has practice been going fine with you guys? Practice been going real fine, working hard, scheming against their defense. Okay, so starting off with the season, you know, you guys had a little rough there uh, um, coming into 0-2. And then last week you had a very big game. You went into overtime. Actually, you guys had two overtimes this year, if I'm not mistaken. And But last week you had the winning touchdown. Tell me how did that feel going into book the week? Uh, winning touchdown, I was determined to get in the end zone. I just, I'm just ready for book, though. That's all I can say. I'm ready. As your viewers here, this is... JT Jerome Lane Jr. He said he's ready for book them. What did you say, round two? Round two. Round two, he said ready. he's ready to go. So give us a little in-depth on uh, how important this game is for you and your teammates. And, uh, you know, as you're going in, um, book has been beat up uh, all week from uh, the Master Week. They, they had a few guys out, but it's football. That's part of the game. Mm -hmm. And they're coming into this week, and a lot of guys are coming back. So, you know, you've been playing with a lot of these guys since you football. Mm -hmm. What is your inspiration uh, as far as you a senior? And, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, you you owing three against Booker right now. Mm -hmm. So you looking for that first victory that against first Booker victory. High School. Yeah. So uh, tell our viewers out there uh, from your viewpoint and, 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 and your perspective how you feeling and how pumped up you are. Uh, I'm ready for this game. Uh... This is uh, to come out and get this win against Booker. It's going to be big for the Firestone family. Come out, play as a team, play as a family. We should get this W. Uh, me as a senior, I don't want to lose. I don't like to lose. Um, I want to go as far as I can. And uh, that's about it. You just ready to get this W. As you heard that, viewers, from inside the lines, this is JT Jerome Lane Jr. One and only. The productive senior. He's 0-3. I'm going to say that again. He's 0-3 against Bukta. He's looking to go 1-3. Don't you know uh, another player? I'm, I'm going to bring this up. Uh, a, a great runner back in history. He went 0-4 uh, against Bukta Strong, and he was one of the best runner backs in the state. And you're a top runner back, I think, in this area, and I think you're the top runner back in the city by far. So did you know who that guy is? Oh, you're, not. you're not talking about Beanie, is it? Chris Beanie. Beanie Wells, that's it. Chris Beanie Wells went 0-4 against Bookton. But Tyson Gully, Syracuse on, I think he got a couple against Bookton. Mm -hmm. Once again, JT, Captain Senior, Firestone High School, looking forward. We're going to have great highlights with JT. He's looking to bring one victory home for his senior class. And we'll be right back with you. We got coming up next. Sophomore sensation, Mr. Reggie Rogers. Welcome back, viewers, right here with Inside the Lines. Now we got sophomore sensation and upcoming Mr. Reggie Rogers. Man, this young man is doing great things at Firestone. So, Reggie, uh, tell the viewers out there with Inside the Lines, uh, what, what's your take on this game? And, and a lot of these young men that you'll be going against, you know, you was on uh, – team with a lot of these young men so tell us about playing against your friends and what you look for out of this game this week yeah a lot of my friends and everything we grew up together played on the same team the chargers but when we get on this field we're not friends no more we enemies that's how god look at it that's how my team go look at it we go come out as a family we gotta get this win we got to fires don't be booked on i don't know how long and we just hype we can't wait for this game so there you hear viewers and once again, he mentioned family. JT also mentioned family as well. So I hear y'all using that word family a lot. So that's what you guys at Firestone is really feeling, family. Yeah. And so what's the momentum going into this week? And, and, and are you guys really, really pumped up? I, I know it's a lot of people out here saying things and, and people saying who's ready, who's not ready. What makes you think y'all the better team come Friday night? We play as a family. We don't get down on each other. We make mistakes, we pick each other's heads up. We move on to the next play, next play mentality. That's how we play. Okay. So, last week, you had a tough game. Uh, you had to go in overtime to bring out a victory. And uh, as I mentioned in an interview early, 
JT scored the winning touchdown. So, coming in this game and coming in this season, by he winning that winning touchdown, what did that mean as a momentum for you guys at Fox? That was a huge momentum. We beat Stowe. We beat the other City team, which was one of our goals. We wanted to beat all the other City teams, but we stake Stowe. Okay. And we take the momentum from JT. Big run. He's the captain of our team. And we needed that to get this momentum for Bookton. Okay. Sounds great. Reggie, now, would you be playing quarterback or would you be at receiver? <laughs> That's the key question. <laughs> I'm going to be at receiver this week, starting safety and receiver. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking to make big plays. As you heard, inside the lines, y'all, we had JT on earlier, the senior, the captain of Firestone High School. Now we got the up and coming, Mr. Reggie Rogers. They say they're ready. And we are family, as they say. They say, let's get it on. Book them. Are you ready?